start today, we'd just like to thank the publishers and authors who made this story possible for you today in the story time. We encourage you to support them just as much as they're supporting us. Thanks. Hello and welcome to another edition of Storytime. I am Leslie and I am going to read to you Walk on the Wild Side by Nicholas Oland. There once was a bear, a moose, and a beaver who loved adventure, but sometimes their competitive nature got in the way of having fun. Has that ever happened to you? One sunny morning, the bear, the moose, and the beaver decided it was a great day to climb a mountain. To get to the mountain, they descended into the valley, walked through the grassy fields, are we there yet? Waded through the stream and crossed a deep canyon. Don't look down! At the foot of the mountain, they stopped for a snack. Between mouthfuls, the bear, the moose, and the beaver discussed ways to make their hike more interesting. The beaver thought the best way to add some excitement was to make it a race. I'm number one! As soon as they finished their last bites, the three friends were off and running. The race was on. Thanks to his long legs, the moose took an early lead, but the beaver and the bear followed right on his tail. Down through the river, across another log, and they started hiking up, climbing the cliff. Then, just as the moose rounded a bend in the mountain path, a boulder came tumbling down towards him. Fortunately, the moose had jumped out of harm's way, just in time. Unfortunately, he had jumped over the side of the mountain. Ah! Uh oh. When the beaver rounded the bend, the moose was out of sight. Worried that he'd fallen behind, Beaver picked up his pace. When the bear came running, he heard the moose's cries for help. The bear followed the sound to the mountain's edge where he saw the moose dangling from a tree branch. Help! Help! Fearless, the bear's attempt attempted a daring rescue. Sadly, he failed. Oops! Thanks to the moose's quick reflexes, the bear's life was saved. Thanks. But they were both hanging for their lives now. The moose and the bear's cries for help echoed up the mountain. The beaver followed the calls back down the path. Help! Help! The beaver's instincts kicked in. He chewed down a tree, carved out a few notches, and lowered a simple ladder to the moose and the bear so they could climb up. Whew. Back on solid ground, the three friends realized the hike had become a little too exciting. If they were going to make it to the top of the mountain, a slower pace might be better. And that's when their hike became interesting. They explored a dark cave, they discovered a prehistoric fossil, and they helped one another along the way. At the end of the day, the bear, the moose, the beaver agreed that reaching the top of the mountain was great, but enjoying the journey together was even better. And that's the end. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.